Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Sagittarius. This reading for today, this is a lovingly yours reading for you. This is a love message. This is a love reading for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for your support. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. All right. This is a love reading for the Sagittarius sign. Let us see what's coming towards you. What is the guided love message for the Sagittarius friends out there? I'm I'm doing, sorry, I'm too excited. Um, I'm going to be doing a new moon solar eclipse reading. It's going to be on the other channel, Sagittarius, okay? Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the guided love message for the Sagittarius sign? What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? What is the message for the Sagittarius sign? You have the world guard. Oh, wow. You've got the world guard. You've got the Hierophant card. You've got the Temperance card, Sagittarius. Four of Wands. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords. You have the Six of Cups. The Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands, and this card wanted to come out, the Justice card. Okay, let's start your reading. So you're starting the reading with the World card in here, the Hierophant card, and the Temperance card. It feels like you're scanning a website. You're scanning a place. It feels like you're, you could be in an online dating, but you're, your preference in terms of love like your preference and i'm seeing two 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 okay look at two minutes 22 seconds um your love energy and preferences including location it's getting wider okay i'm kind of picking up the world card okay sorry the moon card Yeah, the three of swords. I know it. I know it. Sorry for the noise. Um, you're very picky. And ten of cups. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius. Um, so the world guard, it feels like you have experience. It feels like you're scouting. You know, it feels like you're hovering around somebody's online profile, someone's online profile. Or it feels like you're scanning hovering lingering like it's something is brewing in your intuition and it's making me feel like if i give you a piece of paper sagittarius can you sign this you won't sign it you would look at it you would read it from top to bottom page to page you would even scan it in some ways that nobody expect you to do it like the way the way you zoom into the details of the person the romantic situation it's so incognito like i would have i will never have an idea of what you're thinking and what you're thinking in terms of love and romantic it's so deep okay the moon card the three of swords it's a strong reading, Sagittarius, to a point where, you know, some people that you love in the past, they were the same people that destroyed you. You know, it was destructive. For some of you, Ten of Cups, they gave you love. They also gave you the Three of Swords. So if you're acting this way, look at you. This is you. Look at you. You look like you're so confident and ready to love, but you're covering your eyes. It seems to be... Yep, you're putting yourself out there and this and that. You're dating, getting to know, but you're scared to fall in love. Yeah. 
it also feels like you're expanding your network. I'm really picking up Sagittarius that you're being seen. You're out and about and you're getting notification or you're being noticed by platonic and romantic. Okay, you're good. You are going to you're going to full scale. You're going to full blast, a full scale. The world will see you. The world will see you. There's some sort of expansion connected with your reading that a lot of people and energy will see you. But you're so like a, how do I say this? You're picky. Like you could be talking to me, but you don't like me. You could be, you could be talking to this person, but you would immediately turn them down or you would pick up right away that you're not my person. You have a high standard. You can smell them, the romantic person, even platonic, if they will be beneficial or worth it to keep. That is how knowledgeable, you know, this world card. Like you won't allow them to see your eyes with the world card. You won't bear your soul or you won't allow this person to see your eyes, the gateway of your soul, if you don't trust them. Because the moon card, you won't go deeper to them. You won't experiment, I would say. You know, this reading tells me I've gone through this sunshine, the three of swords. I've gone through a lot of happiness and I've gone through a lot of darkness and heartbreak. So I'm open to love, but I won't be pursued right away by romantic words. More than that, I need stability. Taurus card. We're entering Taurus season soon. So you have a lot of reservations. And I don't think that reservations create a block. It, it's just created a special area that you will only allow the right person to see your eyes or to enter your world. You know, it's a reading where you know you're special, Saj. You know in your heart that you are a very special person. You're very, very ambitious. When you love, you really love. You give all of what you have. You make them feel like you are they're your world so you have a special way of touching people's life whether it's romantic or platonic so in the past you were just so giving of that quickly you will fall in love but this time around because of the three of swords the ten of cups before you you even go deeper and develop feelings or fall in love you, you won't the word falling in love Falling little in love. That would be your strategy with the world card. You can't see my soul yet until I'm fully falling in love with you. But you fall slowly. Because something tells me with the temperance card and the hierophant card. I don't know how old you are, but you can't make a mistake. There's this a part of you that sunshine. I would rather be alone than to go on and experiment and, you know, waste my time to the wrong soul. To the wrong person and then start all over again i can't my heart you know i cannot take another heartbreak sunshine please there's something about time and i don't want to waste my time here that you don't want to be heartbroken sunshine you know like you're telling yourself um healing is so difficult try to break someone's heart and heal it it's so difficult it's so easy to make someone happy. But if your heart is broken, it takes time to heal. So for you, like, you know, there's something in your reading, Sagittarius, where your life in being heartbroken, somehow it, it interrupts you to your journey. Because the world card, if you're brokenhearted or if your heart is not happy or... If you're frustrated and it's connected to love and relationship, it makes you uninspired when it comes to your creativity, expansion. So somehow being heartbroken is something that you want to avoid. 
you know you would rather like okay once this person because the temperance card i mean you're all i'm welcoming love sunshine but if it's just gonna give my you know i'm not young anymore who could explore and be heartbroken i don't have time for that i want marriage long-term commitment in here so you have the skill set i would say you're a sagittarius who've been who've lost and love that feeling you have the skill set to know when to bear your soul and there's something about you as well sagittarius and you would be wondering why sunshine we're discussing that you know because because sometimes we don't know what we feel until somebody says that, you know, or maybe I could, I would be able to articulate your feelings and energy. So, because with the, I'm so very like this world card and Hierophant card, it speaks to me in, in a loving, that your relationship or your love, your loving relation, romantic relationship is such a big part of your life. Because if it's the right person, it inspires you. It makes you rich further. And it, it makes you inspiring. It makes you live healthier. But if it's a destructive kind of love, it just brings your, gives you bad luck. It derails you from your ambition and da 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 da. So for you, you don't have time to experiment because it's going to delay you from your worldly ambition. So, sunshine, I wouldn't let them in my world. And you know, my world is amazing sunshine. So, yeah. What a what a good narrative and perspective. Like you know what you want. Like you're in full of, like you're you're in full of con you're in full control of who you will let you will let them in if they're you know it's a reading where you can let in and you I can get you into my castle to my world if you're worth it. You can see my eyes, my soul, if you're worth it. Like someone has to pursue you first. Before you show them your value. Something like that. Now, the love energy. The romantic person. That's connected to you. I'm kind of picking up. Hmm. But let's look at this four of wands. Two weeks from now. One to two weeks from now. You will have or you will attend a friend's gathering. It looks like. You know, it's a reading where all males, all females, something like that. Like there's a maybe gender revelation, stag party or hence party for some of you. But it's a gathering. It's a gathering of happiness. It's the it's a gathering of happiness. It's a it's a party. It's an event of celebration. Um, you might overthink to attend that, Sagittarius. Yes, six of swords. In the next two to three weeks, you will be invited. Party events. You might check out. Please do not check out. Please don't say no. You will meet interesting love encounter in there. A love encounter in the next two weeks. One is one is connected to like a hands party, stag party, or something connected to celebration. You will stand out in there. So make sure that if you attend that event, you look the prettiest. You look the, you look like the goddess or the champion. But there is a romantic interest in there. Because I feel like the venue is shared with another, another occasion in parallel running. So you might come across, I'm kind of picking up that you might go to another, like you're allocated this room for that event. Somehow by accident, you will go there. So just go in the in the next two to three weeks there's two events that you would be invited it could be last minute maybe you would only find out you would only find out the thursday and it's gonna happen on a sunday or it's a friday it's gonna happen on a saturday but just go for it you know go for it you've got the time you've got the dress you've got the clothes you've got the aura you've got the vibe so please have fun go for it and the food and drinks and the booze is free there's a love interest in there. Don't overthink. Don't bail out. Nine of Wands. Don't. It's time for you to be seen. Like you're getting closer to a new love, Sagittarius. Okay? In the next two to three weeks. It's only, it will only take one or two hours and then off you go. You will be seen. You will meet. If you, if you won't meet the exact love interest in there, it could be the brother, the sister, the cousin. So go for it. 
okay? Now, I'm still seeing here a past person, Sagittarius, Six of Cups. This is someone younger than you. You know, this is a person younger or maybe you are senior by profession or they're senior by profession. They also live a bit far, like your you know, south and the north kind of thing. Someone in the past who, I don't know, someone in the past, someone in the past that you connected or dated, they're quite sad that you are not considering them because it's long distance or because they're older, you're younger, or they're younger, you're older. And I'm kind of being asked, why don't you take them seriously, Sagittarius? <laughs> Be fair. Always fair in love. <laughs> so there's someone who's like, maybe long distance, maybe younger or you're younger. Or maybe it's connected to work and you won't give it a chance because we work together. But there's no rule. Something like that. And eventually, whatever the block, it will cancel itself out. Just love. Someone out there is sad. Because you won't give them a chance. So let's see. There's a page of wands. So they're going to send you a message again. And it feels like I'm so annoyed. I'm going to get Sagittarius attention again. And they will call me out. Because I'm younger. Or I'm the senior. Or this one. And you would say with the world card. You know what? I don't date younger or senior. Or I don't date someone in the office. This person will tell you something. They will tell you something just as card that it will wake you up. There's no rule in love. <laughs> yeah, four of wands. Like this person will tell you, okay, just, okay, you don't want me to date you. Okay, then let's just be friends. You're the one who's thinking I'm, I want to date you. I just want to be friends then. Okay, let's put it there. Okay, Sag. Let's just be friends. Four of wands. Come on. No expectation. Let's just be friends. They would even joke at you. Don't fall in love with me. They're very persuasive. Yeah, eight of wands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> From four, four to eight. Oh my gosh. Like this person. Okay, talk to me. See me. Don't think of me romantic. Just think of me as a baby brother, <laughs> baby sister. They will joke at you. Like just to remove the tense, you know. Okay, don't think of me as someone romantic. Just think of me as someone who's have a crush on you and would like to be your friends. And then you become friends. Like, you know, you just drop off the something in here that you put a pressure right away just remove that don't overthink about it this person don't overthink about it just get to know me as a friend don't even don't think that it's romantic just be friends and then you did you're very persuasive and then you enjoy it and you're the one who's like okay it feels like it's gonna work for me and you regardless of the block yeah eight of pentacles now you miss them so you will be I'm kind of picking up that it's possibly at the end of this month moving to next month where you might reconsider a person in the past. Like this is a reading where I'm not going to date younger. I'm not going to date older. I'm not going to date this ethnicity. Like never say never. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Sagittarius. <laughs> so this is your reading. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. I will put the new moon solar eclipse in the other channel. So watch out for that. Uh, because I believe that there's so much um, message that I download that will inspire you and put you back on track, Sagittarius. Lots of interesting insight, intuitive insight. So please check out it later. I will upload this first before I upload that video or we upload that video. Hopefully I pick up the, the right folder. You know, some of the mistakes in here. I didn't know that I was picking up the wrong folder in our cloud. So please forgive me. <laughs> Thank you, Sagittarius. Bye-bye.